so I completed this part of the smocking and um, what I decided to do was to add this bias trim on it and I ironed down all of the sides and I'm just sandwiching it between the bias trim and it makes for a really cute like little detail that'll go down the front of the dress. I just cut out my the pieces of my basic bodice and as, as you can see it's actually quite thin um, and see-through so I decided to go ahead and make another one and to line it so the bodice will be lined in the front and it won't be in the back. I'm going to line up the bodice and the lining and then what I'm going to do is just to stitch around at a quarter inch using my seam allowance, a quarter inch seam allowance through all the layers. I'm going to stitch around the neck. I am going to leave this open and I'm going to stitch around the arms. And now I'm going to do the back. Now if you notice on the pattern of the bodice back that there is this little angle right here, this little dot. And the reason for that is what we're going to do is sew from this triangle all the way down, leaving this part open. Um, and how we're going to finish this is we're going to take the same trim and stitch it around both sides. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark out on the actual fabric because I didn't do that first um, where I'm going to stop. I'm going to put a pin here. And I'm going to sew from here all the way down using my quarter inch seam allowance, leaving these two at the top open. And these are staying open um, so that um, the little girl can put this dress on over her head. If I wanted to add a zipper, I could add it from here to here or even just lengthen it down the entire bodice back. Um, but I'm going to do a simple tie back. You can add a button with a buttonhole. Um, there's many ways to, to add it, but there needs to be an extra opening so that her head can go through. One thing to note, I did do a rolled hem because the bodice top was finished by um, having the two layers, having it lined. So I do want to note that before you put on this here, the tie, you should do your hemming or your top hem, your rolled hem or around the neckline. That'll make things a lot easier. I actually did mine backwards and I had to um, go through a little bit at the very, very end rolling it so tightly that it's almost not rolled. So that being said, um, hem on your, around the arm here first, and then go ahead and, and hem around the neck before you put on the tie and then attach your bias tie. Now you have it, the bodice is complete with the smocking detail vertically down the center. Um, the front is lined. The back is hemmed with the little bow tie enclosure so that the little girl's head can go through. Um, I did, just to make a note, I did finish my seams with bias tape like I've done all of the dresses um, that I've made. Um, and I also stitched down this uh, the smocking on this one right on the inside of the binding and that is it all I'm going to do now is to attach the skirt and I will show photos of that later or when it's done and this was technique number three that produced this gorgeous smocking detail and as you can see I didn't have to do a very lot of it to make yours wider or thinner or however you want to do. So I was considering adding this little bit of um, ruffles here to the underarm area for kind of like the sleeve. And I think that if you can see it, it looks really great. Um, 
it just adds a little bit of something to the dress but on further consideration I decided to not and to leave the uh, leave it sleeveless um, only because the bulk of the dresses that we are doing um, and the ones that we're sending are going to be these sleeveless gorgeous um, but sleeveless dresses and I think um, I wouldn't want to be the person trying to choose who gets to have the dress with the sleeve. But I did just want to show you what it would look like um, just with a little bit of, of uh, ruffle there. I think it really complements the design very well. So um, this is my dress for Happy sign.